Greetings, people. It's been a while. Uh, just did my job or my walk of um, what we call Mountain Spring. And now I'll be driving to the next walking trail. So, um, as a title would suggest, I sold my Honda. So I had a Honda City for many years, and um, I decided to sell it and um, upgrade to a hybrid. The reason for this is having moved so far from work and being exposed to the incredible traffic on Red Hills Road. Ah, oh my gosh. So it is better to have a car that doesn't burn gas while you're in traffic idling. Alright, so right now I'm in the Hope Pastures area. Very nice community. Um, very difficult to get a place to rent this side. <laughs> uh, channel. Alright, so the whole principle with the hybrid technology in vehicles I think is a very smart one. It allows the car to use gas much more efficiently. Uh, there's a, an additional battery in the back of the car that charges while the engine is running or uh, when when you're braking. So when you're in traffic, the engine shuts off and you're able to run on the, the, the battery. Um, of course there's an additional electric motor in the vehicle. It's a Toyota Sai. That's the choice of hybrid that I acquired recently. Very nice car. I made a, re a review at a later date. not a very popular vehicle. I've seen one other so far, but look it up. It's um, pretty much the same thing as the Lexus HS 250. Um, luxury hybrid. So, anyway, my experience in selling the Honda was a very interesting one. There was a 2003 Honda City. No mechanical faults. Uh, it's a car that I used to uh, drive around the island making videos and stuff. Um, so I decided to sell it for the reason I just mentioned. But certainly it was a more practical vehicle as opposed to this luxury vehicle. Um, the Honda Magic Seat is, is simply amazing. Once you've had a Honda Magic Seat, well, you mean the seats that fold down so you have a much larger trunk, uh, there's just no going back. You know, I really miss that feature. Uh, but this car, being a heavier vehicle, with a much bigger engine, still provides better fuel economy than the Honda City. So, um, there are trade-offs, but it was a well-informed decision. So I decided to sell the Honda, and I posted an ad on Facebook, which details the mileage, the type of the vehicle, several pictures of the engine bay, the back, the front, the inside, everything. And 
I posted it for 400,000 Jamaican dollars, which is way under the value. Um, I didn't post it with any intention of negotiating. So I posted the minimum possible value that I would um, accept for the vehicle. However, I think I was selling it for way too hard. I'm going to stop over by the gas station here and I will continue shortly. One second. Yeah, as I was saying, yeah, I posted the Honda for four hundred thousand, and um, I also posted my contact number. Immediately, this guy called me. Car forces you to put on your seatbelt as well in a stop. <laughs> I will never get another seatbelt ticket. Well, I've never gotten a seatbelt ticket. But, yeah. Um, so, yes, this guy called me and he said, Yo, check that out for the internet right now. Want it. Stamp off the title and bring it home right now. So I said, Alright, let's stamp off the title. On my way to stamp something off the title, I got about a hundred calls from people from Portmore, Westmoreland, all over, you know, asking how wrong with the car, why am I selling so cheap, you know? And based on the number of calls that I got, I had the feeling to, you know, ask for a hundred thousand more because. Obviously, it was way too cheap. Anyway, I stamp out the title and I say, Oh, alright. I will tell it to the brother. And um, I went all the way down to Hagley Park Road where he had a, a used car marked. And I um, look on it and I'm saying, uh, I'm saying, You know what? I get 350 feet. I said, no, brother, 400 I said, yeah, that. So apparently, it's a, it's a dealership that buys used vehicles, uh, service them, and then uh, sell them back their profit. But 350 that that was just way too low. It was already underpriced. And I, said, I was so upset at the moment, I waste my time. Go all the way down Hagley Park Road. Only they tell me say you are three fifty Yeah, you know, I just I just drive away. But the person I, I, I talked to at the car mart wasn't actually the person that I spoke to on the phone. Like the man I'm talking to on the phone now are the are the owner. But I talk to some of the workers them there. So when they drive off now they, they go um link another buyer. I'm gonna call her and I say yo you know I'm still want the car. Tell her, tell her. Let me say, yo, brother, it's gone. By the time the people have them cash, I'm on their port more. I say, yo, I'm looking at 410 feet. But we couldn't drive us so far, and you know. But anyway, link some brethren. Most of them are come from all the way away, Westmoreland. And. A bag of cash, the man here comes around to. It was a very uncomfortable experience traveling with a bag of cash. But um, fortunately, I wasn't robbed. So, get the cash, have no care for drive home, just shout out back to me and say, oh, alright, work with this. And um yeah. Took me 
several days to um pick up this new vehicle and I'm telling you it was the most uncomfortable and inconveniencing experience going back to a taxi lifestyle. I tell you one of the taxi man stopping at the middle of the road and just tell me say, oh, come out of them car because I'm not nah, go all the way off the tree with one passenger. And that's what I say, most uncomfortable. And when you do get a taxi now, them taxi up so tight. Can't, can't even breathe, you know? But, um, back on the road again, you know? Uh, look up the Toyota Sky. Excellent vehicle. So, driving upwards to Skyline Drive, pretty much reach. This is a road that we usually walk um, at least once for the week. But today, I brought some camera equipment, so I'm just say, oh, I'll just drive up and take some pictures and things. So, this is the spot. Um, it's a great location to visit, especially at night. The view is just spectacular. It's usually cool up here. Um, there are some seats a little further up. Uh, the brother look like a come on, so I'll take that spot there. Yes, yeah, so I'll take some pictures. Only post on Instagram, so check out my page, Aldeem's Art. And um you should see a few photos that were taken from this very spot. Just testing out my telephoto lens and, and you know, yeah, so I can go on today.